As a real estate investor, I have a wide variety of tenants. People from various countries, Spain, Honduras, Africa, many other places. And my goal always was to have those people become homeowners. And so over the years, I've been fortunate to be able to take many of my tenants and bring them into a first time home of their own. We're great friends. They're very happy. They were able to start their life as a renter, but even more happier, they were able to start it as a homeowner. And the pride of ownership really shows. I'm so proud to see so many of them even go on to their second and third homes. And that's what the American dream is all about. My first client comes to mind. They were actually immigrants from Mexico and the hardest working couple that I've ever met. When I think of these clients, my father resonates with me because he is also a first generation American and their need to find a house for their family was something that you know, I really wanted to help them with. I found it really rewarding in the process to educate them and also lead them through a market with record low inventory. We were actually able to find a house for them in about two months and they were so happy when we closed. I really am truly happy I was able to help them find their American dream. All they wanted to do was buy a house that to them was the coolest thing in the world. And for them, they came from Haiti and they wanted to find something. We found a townhome for them. And as we went through the process, the, uh, uh, we ended up getting a home inspection. The home inspector did his job. When it came time to pay him, he, the client wanted to give him a credit card. He does not accept credit cards. He said, you can send me a check or I'll take cash. And they go, well, I have cash. And they said, well, how much do you have? And he goes, I have $160 on me. He goes, good, give me 140. I don't want to take your last 20. His normal job would have been like $300. So he ended up helping them. And then ultimately the lender waived the appraisals, et cetera, and took off some of the fees, which they're allowed to do. Everybody was, that was involved in this transaction helped them achieve the American dream. A family from Iran reached out to me uh, that they escaped the country. They left everything behind with their assets, everything, their lives, whatever 50 years of life they left behind. And they came to this country and they called me. They said that they want to find a place. I asked them if they have a job, if they find anything. They said, no, they only have legal document. They have no jobs. They have no place to live. They're staying with a family if, they, if I can be any help. First, we had to find them a job. I asked a friend of mine who was a restaurant owner if, they can, if, he, if he can offer him a job. Luckily, he had no hesitation offering a job to the husband and husband started working at the restaurant and make some money. Then we started looking for a property for them to live. And luckily I found a friend of mine who was a leasing agent, asked them if they, if, if they can lease the property since they don't have no credit. They had some money, but they don't have credit. And they, he asked if they have a co-signer, he has no problem. And they said that they don't have any co-signer to sign for them. Would you be helping us? And I said, without any hesitation, of course, I will uh, co-sign for you. A few, a few years later, the son got accepted fuller scholarship to University of Chicago Medical School. And uh, the other son attended uh, Stanford University and the other one is younger. The son graduated from uh, medical school and reached out to me and he said that I want to buy a house. And I was so excited and he said, of course I can help you with buying a house. Uh, so we were looking for a house and he found his dream home uh, for his family, of course. And uh, if this is not American dream, what is? We are the land of opportunity. America is the promise of opportunity no matter what you look like or where you come from. Home ownership is both a part of the promise of this country and the promise we make to one another. Real tourists make the American dream come true. 
We are the key to home ownership. We work, we fight, we serve, we stand up for everyone because everyone deserves the American dream. Wow, those are some amazing and powerful stories. Proof positive that realtors are the key to home ownership and how. What we do in the ethical pursuit of our profession can make such a profound difference in the lives of our fellow human beings in building diverse and thriving communities. Hi, I'm Steve Hudson, and I'm proud to serve as the North Shore Barrington Association of Realtors Board President. It is my pleasure to welcome all of you to this year's NASBAR Member Recognition event, the culmination of our annual NASBAR Member Recognition season. Thank you for being a part of this celebration, and thanks to everyone joining us online for this very special broadcast. We're here today to celebrate your professional sales achievements as realtors, the volunteer efforts you make on behalf of NASBAR, and your service to your communities and the real estate industry. Our association is comprised of some of the most incredible talent in the real estate industry. Your resiliency and dedication to excellence are truly remarkable. As a practicing realtor myself, I know firsthand just how very hard that you all had to work this past year in an incredibly fluid and often surprisingly challenging marketplace. You faced every obstacle with grit, skill, and determination. Nothing has come easy for you, whether navigating the continuing pandemic restrictions, overcoming historically low inventory conditions, or operating amid a dynamic, ever-changing business landscape full of emerging sources of unlikely competition. We are so very proud that you are all members of this dynamic NASBAR real estate community. Before we go on, we want to take a moment to recognize the sponsors of our NASBAR member recognition season. Their generous support as strategic partners enables us to keep bringing you, our members, innovative programming, robust resources, and opportunities for continued professional growth. Thank you to all of our NASBAR strategic partners. It is my pleasure now to introduce you to NASBAR CEO, Jeff Lasky, who will give you a look at how we're working together on building a new NASBAR, including a sneak peek at our gorgeous new NASBAR campus in Northbrook, as we prepare to welcome all of you back home in the months ahead. Jeff, thanks for all you do and all your staff do on behalf of our members to help support their businesses. Thanks, Steve. I'm Jeff Lasky, and it's my privilege to serve as CEO of this great organization. What an amazing time it's been to be in the real estate world, especially here in our North Shore and Northwest suburban communities, with one of the most relentless markets we've ever seen. To say nothing of the continuing impacts that the sustained global pandemic has had on all of our lives, personal and professional, and the many enduring ways in which you continue to adapt your business operations to meet the moment. Real estate is always at its best when it's challenged to be its most resourceful. So what have we been doing these past few months at NASBAR to match the activity and energy of our members? And where are we heading in the exciting spring and summer that lies ahead? Simply put, we've been building a new NASBAR as our mission statement proclaims, cultivating a dynamic and agile real estate community by delivering robust resources and opportunities for growth, one member at a time. We've been busy creating new and exciting ways for our members to connect and engage with their association in a variety of ways. This past September, we installed our most diverse and inclusive board to date, a team of energetic volunteer leaders to help us continue to advance our aggressive strategic plan and take us forward into a bright future. Our NASBAR NICAR Strategic Alliance continues to bear fruit as we not only have brought NICAR's commercial forms and contracts to NASBAR, 
but have developed collaborative programming, resources, and professional development offerings for our commercial and resumercial, resumercial brokerage community. We launched the NASBAR Referral Network to assist licensees who are not actively working in real estate to continue to utilize their license and earn referral fees while providing our brokerages with the benefit of a safe place to send licensees who are not able to practice at this time. This past fall, we were able to get together for our first live group volunteer community service action in over two years as we gathered to help clean up the Skokie Lagoons and make things a little bit better in our own backyard. This year, we will be back in full force on May 14 with an even larger group to create an even bigger impact. Along with our friends from NICAR, we mounted our first ever NASBAR NICAR Charity Classic Golf Outing at Ravinia Green Country Club in early October, with proceeds benefiting our NASBAR Cares Charitable Initiative. We had over 100 golfers, and even many non-golfers, turn out for a spectacular day of fun and networking, and it was such a great success that our Joint Golf Committee is already hard at work planning the next one for Monday, October 3, 2022. So be sure to save that date. You won't want to miss it. We created the NASBAR Member Experience Project to ensure that our valued members are aware of and taking every advantage of all that we have to offer in helping advance their real estate careers. From education and resources to tech support, connections, and so much more. Telling the sweeping NASBAR story has been an undertaking involving input from our membership, volunteer leadership, and staff at every level, and our membership and member services committee we're particularly committed to this important project. We invite you to explore the interactive NASBAR member services brochure by visiting nasbar.org. And don't forget to check out the programming our Diversity and Inclusion Committee has put together for Fair Housing Month this coming April. But by far, the most ambitious undertaking of these past six months has been the reimagining and extensive renovation of the NASBAR campus in Northbrook. We're so excited to tell you that after months of hard work, we are nearly ready to open this totally modernized facility again to our members, and we can't wait to welcome you back in and invite you to stay a while and do business in your new home. We really opened things up by dramatically increasing the amount of member dedicated space from 50 to 75%. We added a state-of-the-art tech bar to help you with all your technology needs from lockbox support to laptop repairs and more. Our friendly and pioneering tech support team is always here for you. Members are invited to use the new business center with free Wi-Fi, charging stations, a variety of comfortable seating areas, even a new Keurig coffee service to brew up your favorite hot beverage and enjoy while you wait for a tech repair or even meet with your clients in this show place. Our event center will host in-person professional development classes again along with other topical programming. We created the NASBAR Studio, our very own in-house multimedia production space, and the new home to our popular podcasts and digital programming like the one you are watching right now. And what was once a broom closet has been literally transformed into our gorgeous new conference center, where our board of directors and committees can meet in style and comfort as they conduct their important business on behalf of NASBAR. And although I have said it before, it bears repeating, again, we have achieved all of this without a member dues increase or special assessment. We're already laying the groundwork for a late spring, early summer grand opening when the weather is better, and we hope that you will join us for what is certain to be a spectacular event. Keep an eye on NASBAR communications for more details as they evolve and a final date is set. Of course, we're not stopping here. Later this year, look for a new NASBAR.org as we raise our online interactions with you to the same level we've brought our facilities, staff, and outreach to our membership. We hope that you're as excited as we are about all that's going on at NASBAR, and we look ahead with a renewed sense of optimism and purpose. Congratulations on all of your 2021 achievements, and here's to 2022. Now it's my pleasure to turn things over to Brad Anderson, immediate past president of the NASBAR Board of Directors, to continue with our member recognition ceremony. Take it away, Brad. Thanks very much, Jeff. 
I have the distinct privilege to help salute so many of our members for their commitment to serving this incredible 102-year-old organization. It is your time, energy, and efforts that keep NASBAR young at heart and sharp of focus. NASBAR's volunteer leadership, our committees and board of directors contribute countless hours of their time and energy to make certain that NASBAR remains on track as a financially stable, agile organization that is forever relevant to our membership. Let's first salute the chairs of our many NASBAR committees. These folks began their year of service in October 21 and continue to serve until next September's board installation. Georgia Perini, Contracts and Forms, Baird and Warner. Azam Rouhani, Diversity and Inclusion, Caldwell Banker Realty. Wayne Paprocki, Ethics Citation, EXP Realty. Jude Offerly, Finance, Baird and Warner. Don Gelfand, Political and Government Affairs, REMAX Properties Northwest. Heather Johnston, Grievance, EXP Realty. Marina Carney, Luxury Council, Compass, the GGL Group. Beth Repta, Membership, Keller Williams Success Realty. Chris Stevens, Past Presidents, Jameson Sotheby's International Realty. Brandy Simon, Professional Services, Compass Real Estate. Carrie Healy, Professional Standards, Compass Real Estate. Shannon Johnson, Young Professionals Network, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. Brian Barrett, Keller Williams, One Chicago. We also want to recognize the gentleman that continues to represent NASBAR so very well as our NAR Director, Keith Hancock with Villager Realty. And now, to recognize the efforts of your 2021-2022 North Shore Barrington Association of Realtors Board of Directors. Connie Conway, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. Luigi Corral, Remax American Dream. Thomas Downing, At Properties. Karen Feldman, Compass. Joe Gerber, Ingalls and Volkers. Travis Wallace, Jameson Sotheby's International Realty. Plus, our two strategic directors, Joel Reynas with Baird and Warner and Bruce Heller with NICAR, and our dedicated executive team. Yours truly, Brad Anderson, immediate past president, Compass, the GGL Group, Jude Offerly, Secretary Treasurer Baird and Warner, Katie Spaniak, President Elect, EXP Realty, and your 2021 2022 Board President, Mr. Steve Hudson with Compass. Next, I have the honor to celebrate and congratulate realtors who have been active members for a milestone of 25 and 40 years and our largest crop ever of 50 year members. Let's begin by celebrating those with 25 years as a realtor. Congratulations. And to those who have been in the business an incredible 40 years as a realtor, congratulations to you as well. And to those who are marking their 50th year in our business as a realtor, wow. Congratulations and stay with it. Finally, we want to take a moment and recognize some very special folks who have served our organization with distinction since its inception in 1919, our 102 past presidents. How lucky we are to have so many still with us to share such a wealth of knowledge and continue to advise and guide our association. Next up, to help us recognize our members most actively involved in NASBAR's advocacy efforts, please welcome our NAR Director, Keith Hancock. Keith, take it away. 
Thanks, Brad. Industry advocacy remains a top priority here at NASBAR. Many of you have already contributed generously to RPAC, the muscle behind our advocacy efforts, and we are very grateful for all your contributions. Thank you very much. We'd especially like to salute our RPAC major investors for calendar year 2021. These dedicated real estate professionals serve as industry and private property champions, ensuring that our North Shore and Northwest suburban communities remain vibrant places to live and work. We're so very thankful for their passionate advocacy and generous personal financial investment of at least $1,000 annually, with Crystal Arm members contributing over 2,500 annually. Next, we would like to recognize the tireless efforts of our hardworking Federal Policy Coordinator, FPC, and State Legislative Coordinators, SLCs. These folks dedicate time, their time, to interface with our elected state and federal officials on an ongoing basis to help keep them abreast of our realtor positions on a whole host of legislative initiatives facing the real estate community and homeowners at large. Thanks to all of you for dedicating your time and talents to help advance the realtor agenda in Springfield and Washington, DC. You give us an important voice and a seat at the table with legislative decision makers. Now we'd like to turn over the proceedings to NASBAR's strategic director, Joel Reynas. Thanks, Keith. I am delighted to be here to salute our 2021 crop of top producing members for their tremendous efforts, especially given the unique market challenges we faced this past year. This occasion marks the third time we have recognized outstanding sales performance by our NASBAR members, the heart and soul of our dynamic real estate community. Our awards recognize residential and commercial sales production by NASBAR members during the prior calendar year, in this case, January 1st, 2021 through December 31, 2021. This year, for the first time, we will also be recognizing our top rookies, those in business less than two years, for their outstanding residential sales production. Plus this year, in addition to recognizing NASBAR's overall top 1% and 5% sales performers, we expanded recognition for our two primary regional marketplace, the North Shore and the Northwest suburbs. We are so pleased to recognize our NASBAR sales production leaders in the following categories. 2021 leading residential rental producers, 2021 commercial leaders in sales and rentals, 2021 top 10 rookies in volume and units, 2021 top 10 teams in volume and units. 2021 top 5% individual producers by residential sales volume Northwest region. 2021 Top 5% by Residential Sales Transactions, Northwest Region. 2021 Top 5% by Residential Sales Volume, North Shore Region. 2021 Top 5% 
by Residential Sales Transactions North Shore Region. Twenty twenty one top five percent by residential sales volume overall. Twenty twenty one top five percent residential sales transactions overall. Twenty twenty one top one percent by residential sales volume Northwest region. Twenty twenty one top one percent residential sales transactions Northwest region. Twenty twenty one top one percent by residential sales volume North Shore region. Twenty twenty one top one percent by residential sales transactions North Shore region. 2021 top 1% by residential sales volume overall. Twenty twenty one top one percent by residential sales transactions overall. Top fifty by residential sales volume overall. Top 50 by residential sales transactions overall. All of our 2021 NASBAR sales production recognition winners may be viewed online at nasbar.org slash recognition. You may also find the complete list of the winners in this year's NASBAR Digital Yearbook and also on our website. Congratulations again to our NASBAR top sales performers. Your achievements inspire us all. Now it's time to reveal the 2021 NASBAR of the Year award winners. For this, we've invited last year's NASBAR of the Year winners to present our 2021 honorees. Take it away, folks. Hi, I'm Eric Sager of Green Home Solutions. I'm deeply honored to be recognized as your reigning NASBAR Strategic Partner of the Year. My association with NASBAR and its members has been a rewarding one. I've so enjoyed meeting a great number of you and NASBAR events over the years, both in person and since the pandemic over Zoom. This is a great partnership and I deeply appreciate the friendships and business relationships we've forged. I can't wait till we can all get back together again and network in person. Without further ado, I'm proud to reveal the new NASBAR Strategic Partner of the Year. Since jumping in with NASBAR as one of the co-sponsors of your fabulous centennial celebration at the Chicago Botanic Gardens in 2019, this gentleman has strongly supported NASBAR events in person or online. One of the leading residential real estate attorneys in Chicagoland, he and his dedicated team of real estate paralegals are prepared to legally assist in any aspect of a real estate transaction. Let's give a great big NASBAR thank you to the NASBAR Strategic Partner of the Year and our dear friend, real estate attorney, Jeffrey Marks. Hi, I'm Ryan Gable. This year, we are changing the name of our NASBAR Humanitarian of the Year Award to NASBAR CARES Good Neighbor Award. 
This is being done to better align this high honor to our ongoing NASBAR CARES philanthropic initiative and to highlight the fact that realtors are good neighbors in the many communities that we serve. NASBAR CARES was established to help illuminate the philanthropic efforts of our membership and to leverage our ability to assist our neighbors. Through our collective actions and fundraising efforts, we're able to amplify our impact and support a wide array of local charities and community-based causes. Together, we're making a difference in the lives of people all over North Shore and Northwest Suburban Marketplace. And we are just getting started. We could think of no better recipient of the 2021 NASBAR CARES Good Neighbor Award than the man who made the formalization of NASBAR's philanthropic initiative the passionate centerpiece of his board presidency. Ladies and gentlemen, NASBAR is proud to recognize Brad W. Anderson. Hi, I'm Yuri Figel, and I'm so proud of my time as NASBAR's Rookie of the Year. What a privilege to get such an awesome recognition from my peers. It is indeed my pleasure to introduce our next NASBAR Rookie of the Year. This engaged and active rising star serves as a member of NASBAR's Government and Political Issues Committee and is the Vice Chair of NASBAR's Diversity and Inclusion Committee. She cares deeply about being, being a positive influence in the real estate industry. She consistently volunteers when there is a need and has a strong desire for positive change in the real estate industry. This is reflected in her NAR at Home with Diversity certification, participation in the ongoing projects for Fair Housing Month, and so much more. When she is needed, she is always there with a smile on her, on her face. Nesbar is excited to recognize our 2021 Rookie of the Year, Gina Tarpe. Hi, I'm Wayne Paprocki, Chair of the NASBAR Ethics Citation Committee and current NASBAR Realtor of the Year. I'm so honored to be able to recognize this year's NASBAR Realtor of the Year. While serving on our board, this gentleman led a sweeping effort to reinvigorate and modernize NASBAR's branding and member communications and has driven a number of other important member engagement initiatives, including the quest to massively expand our member recognition to showcase sales production recognition. During our centennial year and his tenure as president of the NASBAR Board of Directors, he led a nationwide search to find our new CEO, worked tirelessly with his colleagues on our mission statement and strategic initiatives. He's continued to serve long after his executive committee term was over. He was deeply involved with the effort to reimagine our fabulous NASBAR campus and so much more. We're so incredibly honored to have such a dedicated individual among our membership. He's an outstanding choice for this recognition. Ladies and gentlemen, I present our NASBAR Realtor of the Year, Mr. Chris Stevens. Congratulations to all of our NASBAR of the Year Award winners. What a great group. It's now my privilege to present this year's honoree for the Patricia Ortsiphon Distinguished Lifetime Service Award. The Ortsiphon Award recognizes a noteworthy real estate career and the recipient's significant impact on fulfilling NASBAR's mission and vision with their service to our organization. Named posthumously in honor of a wonderful NASBAR member and longtime contributor to our association's volunteer leadership, Pat Ortsiphon, this award recognizes a member who has rendered distinguished service to NASBAR and demonstrates the potential for continued contributions to the real estate industry and their fellow realtors. We have some great candidates for this award and they are all winners in our book. The honoree selected this year has been an active member for over five decades and is still going strong in the real estate business. She has contributed countless hours of her time and industry expertise to benefit our membership including taking the lead as one of our past NASBAR board presidents. She continues to teach classes and mentor those new to our business, generously sharing of her time and vast expertise. A staunch champion of the Realtor Code of Ethics, 
Her career is a testament to our professionalism and ethical business behavior. She ably serves NASBAR as a federal policy coordinator, helping to advance the important causes of real estate and private property rights at the national level on our behalf. Ladies and gentlemen, this year's Patricia Ortsiphon Distinguished Lifetime Service Award goes to NASBAR's very own Marilyn Glazer. Congratulations, Marilyn. We thank you for all that you have done on behalf of our association and all that you continue to do for all of us. You're an inspiration to our volunteer leadership and our entire membership. Thanks again to everyone joining us today for this very special NASBAR Member Recognition Event broadcast. And again, on behalf of the NASBAR Board of Directors and a grateful membership, our deepest appreciation to our valued strategic partners for their generous support of this program and our membership. Last, but by no means least, I wanted to give a shout out to our hardworking staff for putting together today's program and all of the elements of our NASBAR member recognition season. And for keeping things rolling in our association day in and day out all year long. As Jeff said, we look forward to welcoming you all soon at the new NASBAR campus in Northbrook. We can't wait to see you in person again very soon. To see all of our 2021 NASBAR member recognition winners and more, be sure to check out our NASBAR Digital Yearbook, available online now at nasbar.org forward slash recognition and stay connected with us on our NASBAR social media channels. Watch out for our regular e-news, what's now and what's next. And tune in regularly for the lineup of podcasts to keep you up with the latest. There's a lot going on here at NASBAR, especially this year, and we don't want you to miss out on any of it. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay positive.